Well, I grew up outside of Chicago and just really never felt like I fit in. So as soon as I started uh, to drink, I, f I felt like I fit in. Alcohol quickly became uh, number one in my life. It pretty much immediately um, made a negative impact. It, it took away scholarship opportunity. Um, it prevented any significant relationship in my life. Any, any job promotions, um, Essentially, I was afraid of success, I think. It continued to make a negative impact. It continued to run my life, make decisions for me. Um, so I realized things were really, really getting out of control uh, as soon as my mother died. Um, I had tried brief rehabs in the past. A shelter scenario that was, um, was not spiritually oriented in any way. Um, those were extremely unsuccessful. Um, I immediately returned to alcohol. Um, what brought me here is, was I knew God had been tugging at me throughout my life. I knew that there was something missing. I tried alcohol. I tried other things. Nothing, nothing filled the void in my life except uh, when I came here, I was introduced to Jesus. Um, I was introduced to uh, the hope, the forgiveness, and uh, the gift of eternal life. Um, this place has done so much for me. It's been an, an absolutely amazing ride. I have uh, I've really realized the, the significance of uh, friendships, fellowship, uh, not isolating myself uh, through my relationship with, with uh, the people here, individual counseling, uh, the classes, the volunteers, just seeing how how people really care about me is something that I haven't felt in my entire life. I went through the seven and a half month program. I graduated at the end of August. Uh, through meeting people here, I immediately was hired um, for a bathroom kitchen remodeler. Um, I work with a few gentlemen that actually graduated the program several years ago. So I have not only am I still surrounded by Christian brothers and um, I'm surrounded by gentlemen that understand the struggle of addiction and continue to uh, model their lives after Christ and are just active in the community. They're active followers and they're just, they're hungry for the Lord. They're hungry for recovery and they're hungry for, you know, just being productive members of society.